Welcome back friends and colleagues, I'm Nadav Hexelman and in this episode we are going to generate our decals along the splines dynamically. So first we need to understand how many decals can we actually uh, fit inside our spline. And in order to do that we need to get uh, the length of our spine and divide it by um, the size of our decals. And then we'll get the number that we can fit in here and we can look through this number and uh, find how many decals to put. So going back uh, into my uh, decal here that we um, started uh, creating, let me get rid of this because we're going to recreate it. First of all, I'm going to get my uh, decal, decal uh, this line decal I created and I'm going to get its length. Let's type length, get spline length, and actually we can, um, once we get the length, we should be able to uh, divide this by the size of our decal, but how are we going to get the size of our decal? So later here, um, from the loop we're about to create, the loop that is going to count according to the number of decals that we can uh, actually uh, spawn here, we're going to each time the loop is running, we're going to create a new component here, which, which is going to be a decal component. And after we create it, we're going to set its material, set decal material, and this decal material is actually going to be the decal itself. This is just a com component um, storing um, the material, and the material is what's going to draw the decal. And here I can choose um, what uh, materials that I can use, but I can also promote this to a variable and type here uh, decal to place. And also open the little I here and compile. And so we can, let's move this to the setup. So now when we're going back to the editor and uh, we see here decal to place and we can change this on the fly. So now if I, press on uh, add decal component and I expand here, you can see that I have um, some of the parameters uh, that has to do with the decal uh, with this node. One of them is the decal size. And you see we have um, X, Y, and Z. And um, oh, um, actually this is box extent. So it means that it's not, it's, it says 256, but it means 256 from each, um, from the center. So let's imagine I have a box here. Let's just put a box collision. So box extent means a uh, box extent means that if sorry, uh -huh, uh, if uh, y is two fifty uh, two five six, and let's say this box uh, and we look at the y, so it means two five six from the center. Okay. To each direction, it's 256. It means that the actual size is two times this number, right? Because it's 256 to this uh, direction and 256 to this direction. So let's get rid of our box. And um, going back to the decal component, so we see it's 256, and we now know uh, that if we take this number and we divide it by the size uh, that we are looking at, which is 256 times 2, which is 512, okay? Um, this 2, uh, we get, if we divide the length of the spline by the size of our decal, then we get the number of decals, decals that we need to use. So we can now, uh, because it's a float, we want to um, create an integer out of it. We want to um, convert it to an integer. So we can do... Uh, truncate on it and now we get an integer okay so it's going to run from 0 to the number of um, number of uh, decals that we can actually place on our spline and just to um, elaborate here let's say just just to show you if I connect I'm just disconnecting my loop and I'm just doing the add the decal component here, and I hit compile, you'll see uh, this is how it looks. So it creates a box, okay, which tries to project the decal. The problem is that when we just uh, creating the decal here uh, in the default values, 
you see that the x direction, this is the direction of the projection, is actually pointing um, not the direction we want. We want it to point down because the direction is going, should go down to the surface. So we need to rotate our box uh, 90 degrees on the y. So we go back to our spline here and gonna right click on relative uh, transform, split this, and on the y we're just gonna type 90. Now we head back, we first of all see our decal, and you see that the box is um, turned around as we need it to be. Now I can go back here and uh, reconnect my loop because this was just to show you. Okay, so we're going through our loop, um, the amount of uh, decals that we can actually populate here in this, uh, in our spline. And now we need to set their location. So um, each time um, we hit uh, a new location on our spline, according to the size of the decal, we want to create a new decal there. So if we have um, a, a thousand unit long sp spline, let's say, let's look at it from here. If we have a thousand, if, let's say this is a thousand unit long and our decal is 100. So we want each 100 uh, unit point on our spline to create the decal, each point. So I can get this uh, number by typing, by taking my spline again and typing uh, get length, uh, no, um, let's type along, get location at distance along spline. So what I can do here now is actually, um, if I give this a distance along the spline, let's say 200 is going to be 100, 100 here, it's just going to return me to me the location of this point uh, of the spline. And I also can get the rotation. I'll show you. I can do also get rotation at distance. Okay. How do I get this distance? So um, as we remember, when we do our loop, right, we have our first point, which is zero, which is this, and this should be at um, zero, zero location, right? And all, all I have to do here is actually, I can do here uh, between the decal material and the, the adding of the decal component, I can um, get, I'm getting the decal, I'm just telling it set word, location sorry let's do let's do set world location and rotation because we're going to set the rotation of the decal too right because we want the decal to be in the location of the spline and also the rotation that the spline is uh, directed to so the location uh, we're going to find the distance, and again, the distance is just the index number times 512, because that's the size of our decal. So in the first point, it's going to be zero, zero distance. Zero distance is going to be here. On our second decal, it's going to be 512, which is going to be somewhere here. This will be our next decal, okay, and so forth. And Let's just set this to world and connect this to the location. Hit compile. And you start to see that we are creating the decals, okay? But the rotation is still wrong. Okay, let's go back and fix that. And actually, I can just uh, do the same thing. We're going to get the, the rotation of the point in the same distance. And let's see what happens if I just connect it. It's not going to work, but um, you see it's not rotated uh, correctly again. So the reason is, first of all, um, let's split this rotation so we can control each of the um, float number here, the roll, the pitch, and the yaw separately because we need to fix our uh, rotation thing. And I'm going to split here the rotation too, coming out of the um, point that we find uh, its rotation. And remember, uh, we want, first of all, the y to be 90 degrees to fix the projection problem. So first, let's do uh, 90 on the pitch. And let's see now if I just connect 
the pitch and the yaw, what are we getting? So the projection is much better, as you can see, but I still having a problem uh, with the direction because I want the uh, the bootprint or whatever decal is here to rotate 90 degrees um, on the on the on the page, right? So we want uh, sorry on the roll. So we want uh, to add or actually to subscri subtract uh, minus 90 to make it uh, face the right way to make the projection work correctly. Let's see now. Okay, very good. So now we have our um, Decals here lining up and rotating correctly. We already can see that it's moving. Um, uh, it's moving with my spline, and I can add more points. So it's already working. Um, I still want to be able to change the scale. I want to change uh, the projection here to work. Uh, so I can. You see, some of the projection here is missing, and I want to fix some more stuff. And we're going to do that uh, in the next episode. So thank you for staying. I hope uh, you enjoyed this episode and um, see you in the next one.